Hello there guys, it's me in Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 34 of Hearts of Iron 4. We are currently in the process of doing um, stuff. We're basically trying to get the Americans and the British out of um, Burma, essentially. And um, it's going to be a little bit tri tricky to get down there. Um, there's not a lot of supply. Uh, you'd hope that the Japanese would be a little bit more useful down here, but no, you can't have everything, can you? Let's go ahead and keep working on better radar where we can. So the Americans have a lot of troops down here, so they must be having some attrition problems as well. Uh, I'm waiting for the Italians to arrive. If we can get them all down here, I intend to try and just sort of push in and take Bangkok if possible. Um, anyone else that's all already got a border down here as well, so um, you guys should have a front line. It's always important to have front lines because... If you've got front lines, then you have um, preparation bonus. So you are well, not front lines, offensive lines. So you probably want to go across there. So just to get that preparation bonus. The Italians are not going to have an order. We're literally just manually controlling them. So you guys, I want to go in and attack here. It's going to be difficult because they've got quite a lot of divisions in there. And they've all got full organization. We certainly don't have. Uh, dispersed fighting, that's fantastic. So let's go ahead and get more air doctrine. So we don't have to make any decisions yet about which tree we go down. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Yeah, they've got a lot of units down here. So it's going to be tricky. But who knows, maybe this will just keep them busy and we'll have less troops to deal with in um, the British mainland. If we ever get air superiority, we need at least need to wait until we've got our airfields built so that we can put all of our uh, jet fighters um, in there. And we will need to um, get a lot more manpower in order to be able to do that. Military police are done. So that is literally all of the support divisions finished. Artillery, we don't really need to work on. Land doctrine, we have finished. Um, naval Doctrine, we haven't quite finished, but let's finish these off anyway. I know we don't have any carriers, but let's at least finish off the, uh, the Doctrine anyway. Three military factories, again, most of them are ones that have been damaged. So we'll just leave them as they are. We are still trying to build ships, but we can't at the moment because we don't have the manpower. Um, do we have a massive surplus on anything? We've got a little bit of a surplus on rubber, so we can get rid of a tiny bit of that. See, I'm trying to remember to check this out every now and then. I still really wish that... Oh, would you look at that? Looks like um, Soviet Union's gone fascist. That's interesting. Uh, I do really try and remember now people have said that I need to keep sort of looking at this and make sure I deal with that. Uh, yeah, Russia, how are things going with you? Um, lost you. There you go. Yeah, so Russia is um, fascist. If they weren't already in a faction, they would actually join. Tibet, would you join a faction? You're not fascist enough. Not fascist enough yet. And Canada, of course, are already going to be in a faction as well. It's going to be difficult to get anybody else in. Brazil. Um, you're not quite fascist yet. It might happen. Argentina, what about you? Are you fascist? You must be. Invite to faction. You wouldn't come in because why? You don't want to be drawn into the war and you've got neutral foreign policy. Um, and again, you're not going to be all that useful. Let's cancel a boost there and try and save some of our political power. I mean, we don't really need to save it, but let's try it anyway. Still got to be careful because there's still a few units on these islands and they can be sneaky because they'll sort of jump in when you least expect it and, you know, start taking stuff from you. Italian troops, do you have any chance? There's one unit in Bangkok right now. No, now there's seven. It's like all of a sudden you look and say, oh, there's nothing in Bangkok. And then you go to attack and then all of a sudden, oh, there's a million units in Bangkok. Um, I'm going to set all of these guys to um, balanced. And you all are. Now then, medium tanks, where are you guys? Have you arrived yet? You are... Um, you're actually here, to be honest. So, let's move you guys around onto this side. And I'm just going to give them a very specific order. I'm just going to get them guys to sort of come in, come in from this side and roll in from the east. 
Uh, I'm also going to assign... Um, right, let's take the panzers and just assign any random general that's got like some tank ability. And then we're going to take the mid-tanks and you are going to get um, Rommel. This is the plan here. And in fact, he's already just rolled through the middle of them. Just go straight into Bangkok, mate. Just go in. I can't believe I've just called Rommel mate. I don't know what happened there. Um, but you guys should be able to um, get stuff done. And in fact, if we can push the attack... Let's just hold these guys back so they can't join in the fight. Maybe you guys can actually get in over here as well and do something. We won't be able to win that. What have we got going on over here? Naval battle. Um, okay. Not too sure exactly who was battling whom there, but whatever. Um, so do we have a chance of taking that? Maybe. Maybe we can get in there. This province looks empty. Somebody go in there and take that. These medium tanks will um, really help things down here. The light tanks I will keep for the time being. Um, we might as we've got them down here. We might as well use them. I don't see any point in getting rid of them. Um, you've got a light tank division here, so I think we'll just move you into that. Somehow you've got put in the wrong division. Did we take Bangkok? We've taken Bangkok. Holy crap! And in fact, if we can move in behind them and cut them off here, which is quite possible, um, then they won't actually have any supply coming in from the south. So we've got to be careful ourselves, though, because we don't want to get caught out. We don't want to get um, cut off here either. Uh, where have those Italians gone? You guys get in there and do something. Yeah, we just want to try and cut them off if possible now. You guys, start pushing. Put the pressure on. Now if we can just move into here and we take this one, that'll actually cut them off. And it looks like we've got a good chance of winning that battle as well. Well, that, that turned around very quickly. I mean, there's still a lot of units up here, but look at this. There's like... There's probably nearly a hundred divisions up here that we could potentially cut off from their supply lines. Now, they are throwing everything they've got at us at the moment, and I can't blame them for that. But we've about, we we're about to cut their su the supply lines off, and we have done. We've just cut their supply lines off. Let's just move north and try and stop that big, massive stack from moving down here. So all of these guys now that are on in, in the north... They're all cut off from supply lines. Um, Italians, you come down here, please. We need to try. And, we need to keep this channel open. It's a bit messy. It's hard to see because of all of these front lines. Um, but we don't want. We don't want them to take this province because then we'll be cut off. But now we've got them all encircled. So that's going to be nice. We're, we're going to kill so many British and American troops right now. That's really going to work out well for us. We obviously want to hold the south here. We don't want to lose any of this, but we definitely want to sort of push it up, on, uh, up to the north. These guys have got no real way to recover right now. And we're just going to use these medium tanks to go and do a lot of damage. We, we, we need to recover some um, organisation here, though, because we've lost quite a bit. Now, these guys are on low organisation. Let's just see if we can jump in on them. Oh, they're throwing... No, these guys are retreating. Yeah, these guys are going, to, are going to lose an awful lot of uh, of units right now. Italians, you've run out of um, of umph, so you're not going in. We've got insufficient resources now on uh, rubber. Okay, you can get that from Japan probably. Looks like they're having some problems delivering. No, no, I think they were just having some convoy issues. Um, so let's just go and uh, put that back down then. Uh, slight surplus on oil, so we can go and sort that out. So we've got more factories that we can use. Must, must keep my eye on what's going on over here. So let's see if we can pocket these guys up even more. I actually wanted to go that way around, but that's fine. 
The, I mean, these guys have got no organisation, so... We just need to defend over here. We don't want... Oh, no, they've, they've actually managed to push back in. We don't want them to take Bangkok, though. Flipping... Lost some convoys. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why supplies aren't getting to us. Um, we've got to defend... We've got to keep the tanks safe. But we really want to cut, cut them off as quickly as we can. They've retaken Bangkok, which is a problem, but... That still doesn't help out these hundred or so divisions up here. So we can retake Bangkok. It's not a problem. But we really want to kill all these divisions. So the medium tanks are still pushing in up here. We just want to make sure we, we keep this area and we don't get cut off. But yeah, we can, we can sit here and hold. We just need to recover a little bit of our organisation. We've got most of it back, so let's just go straight in. I don't know why it says we're losing there. I mean, we really shouldn't be. We've easily got the numbers. But they've got um, 110, 112 divisions here. They're about to lose 112 divisions. And there we go. They've literally just lost 112 divisions. So let's get in over here and take Bangkok back. In fact, if we can get in over there and we'll just sit there and regroup. There we go. Now you guys are all sort of trapped in Bangkok. This is all going very, very nicely. Which is unusual. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't want to jinx it too much. But, um, yep. Yeah, we need to get in there before they get all of their organisation back. We are attacking across a river, which is a bit of a dumb move. How long does it think this is... We're actually fighting against Eisenhower here. How long does it think this is going to go on for? It says we're currently winning. But the battle is likely to rage on for a long time. It'd be nice if some of these other units could come in and attack from other directions, but... Anyone that can get involved over here, get involved. Meanwhile, everybody else is just going to sort of sit on this line and hopefully stop these guys pushing any further north. But they've they've lost a lot of units now. If we go and have, have a look at this. Um, yeah, the United Kingdom's lost 2.9 million um, troops now. America has lost 4.78 million troops. So, you know, they're losing more manpower than I am, even though I'm, uh, I am, I'm admittedly not managing my manpower very well. We're certainly managing to get some of them killed off. We've actually... No, I thought we'd lost a medium tank. It's just one of them must be uh, separate from the rest. But I guess trying to attack across this river isn't really helping us. It does still say we're winning. It's going to last for another 10 days. Another 9 days. Is that just until we run out of organisation and, and give up? But once that's done, then we can just concentrate. We'll just drive the tanks down here and, and wreck face. That's kind of the the plan here. Uh, what are we looking at now? We're still winning. Eight days, seven days, six days. Although the days aren't passing that quickly, so I'm not too sure why it's going down like that. But the outcome is currently undecided. Got the Italians here. Let's get them... Uh, well, we'll just throw them in. Throw them in from wherever. Um, still got some more factories there. The damaged ones. We can go and work on our modern tanks now. And add the... Uh, what do we want to add? We want to add a recon company. And we want to add an engineering company, I think. So we'll save up there. That's fine. Um, our medium tanks, actually. Let's just go and um, sort that out. Not too sure what it was. Oh, we'll finish the um, mountaineers. Uh, we are still using the medium tanks. So let's just have a quick look at what we've got here. So um, we've got a signal company. What we could do with is a um, logistics company. That would really help us out. And an engineering company as well. So let's go ahead and get those guys uh, upgraded. Uh, we've managed to retake Bangkok, which is fantastic. So everybody now should literally just be on these lines. <clears throat> this is really, really good. So let's go ahead now and give these tanks the uh, front line. 
And we're going to go ahead and give you a offensive line. And I think for a start, we're just going to set you right down here. I didn't mean to do that, actually. I wanted you to um, sit on your uh, sit on your line. Hold, please. Yep, 24 divisions. We need to edit this line slightly because it went a bit squiffy. You need to be um, over there. There you go. That's what we wanted. So we'll be able to push in there. We'll just let them have some time to regain their organization. Um, lost a few more convoys over there, but the Americans lost some ships as well. So that is fine. Yep, still have low manpower. Not expecting that to change anytime soon. How are we doing on jet fighters now? We have um, 11,000 in there. So that's a good number of jet fighters. So we're almost ready to go and attempt once more to land in the United Kingdom. But before we do that, I would like to try and get them wiped out down here from Singapore. So let's try and do this. They'll hopefully lose a lot more units. There's a lot of the problem is now, of course, it's more it's gonna be more difficult to get them surrounded. And um You know, obviously that causes us uh, issues because they are getting good supply. If we could if we could get in behind them and in fact we almost could. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna take the um these medium tanks. I'm gonna move them around to this side. And I'm going to try and come in down here and take this province. My plan is, again, to try and cut these off. Because we've got about 35 to 40 divisions up here. And it would be quite nice if we could get those divisions trapped. There's only um, 14 divisions in this province. So if we can get these guys cut off, um, then it might work out for us. So we need to get all of the medium tanks in uh, over on this side. There's a few over there that are sort of engaged in battle. So that makes it difficult. But... Let's try and get everybody in place. And most of them are, but let's let's go in here now and see if we can actually win this. We are, we are actually pushing forwards, though. Oh, would you look at that? There's 187 divisions here from mostly from uh, Portugal. Portugal is throwing troops in now to this war. So that is fantastic. We obviously need to make sure that we hold Bangkok, and I think to that end, we're going to, yeah, we'll, we'll leave the Italians in Bangkok for the time being. We just need to try and force these guys back. Did they, did they just retake that um, province? It looks like they may have done. Going to be tricky. They've got a lot of units, so some of them did retreat. You see, the Italians have got no, um, no organization at the moment, so we can't really go in with those. I'm just hoping the tanks get something done. That there are a lot of units here, and they've got the advantage of having supply uh, supply on their side. I do not. So that's slightly problematic. Um, how are our paratroopers doing? We still haven't regained enough manpower yet to get them all out. I'd love actually to know how Great Britain are doing in terms of their troop numbers right now, because they've obviously lost a lot of men. They've still got quite a few units in over here. Um... Let's have a quick look, see what they've got. They're almost fascist. Not quite, but almost. Uh, they've still got about 275 divisions. They've still got about 50,000 aircraft. And that number's going up by the day. So, definitely problematic. Um, again, yeah, let's, let's try and get this sorted first. Recoup some manpower. Does it look like we're actually going to win this war? Medium tanks have got no organisation, but it looks like we did almost get in there. Yeah, you really need to regain all of our organisation here before we can try and move in again. Uh, limited supply is part of the problem here. Very few divisions, but it's just actually getting... Oh, we've lost Bangkok. Which is quite surprising, considering the, the relatively small number of units they've got in there but yeah we cannot allow them to have bangkok we've, we've got to get them trapped you guys get in there as well see nobody up here has any supply which is the problem siam owns all of this but they're probably not going to improve their infrastructure anytime soon If we can retake Bangkok, 
Which is something that we really need to do. Let's see if we can get over here. If we can retake Bangkok, maybe we can hold on to it. <laughs> That's the plan. Um, so, do we want fighter agilities or air support? Well, no, we don't want air support. We want fighters to be better. So, let's go and do that. I did give the tanks a bit of a direct route through there, which was just laziness, really. I should have told them to go around, but I figured if they actually get any troops to retreat along the way, I'm actually fine with that. Um, but yeah, we do need to try and get um, a foothold down here. So what I might try and do, if we can get Bangkok, I might see if Siam will um, give us control of the state, and then we can build up the infrastructure, because the infrastructure, most 6 of 10... Um, can we see what the the dock is? I can't see what level the dock is. The naval base. Oh, uh, 3 of 10. Yeah, that's the problem. The naval base is only 3 of 10. Um, let's go ahead and just finish that then. Just to get it done. Looks like we, are, we might actually push them out there. I think we have just done actually. Um, so, let's go and surround Bangkok then. Now, this is part of... Um, mind you, that's their capital, isn't it? So they'll they'll never um, they'll never give it to us. They'll never give us control of it because it's their capital. So there's that to consider, uh, but that is something to consider next time. So it's amazing how quickly these twenty minutes actually pass when I'm playing this game. Even though I'm not very good at it, I do really enjoy it, and the time just flies by. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Hearts of Iron 4. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.